In this video, I'm going to give kind of a general overview of what this new board is. And then after that, I'll go through a bunch of different use cases for where you would want to use this new board. This was sent to me so I could make this video. It's been a lot of fun to play with. I've done IT for about a decade. And this is one of those things that I wish I could put in every single conference room in an office because of how nice and how useful it is. So you'll notice that it is Android. So it's basically a TV and one of the first things I noticed about it when I took it out of the box is it's much heavier than a TV so it's a TV with kind of computer components built into it but on top of the Android system so everything here is touchscreen just like your phone or tablet you also have this stylus it goes here with a magnet and you can use this as well as far as the setup and system this is Android so everything that you would expect to see on Android you will see here which means you can go to the Play Store and you can download and use any app you want. By default, there are a few apps installed. So for example, you have a whiteboard app. You can open that up if you are in a classroom and maybe you want to teach Chinese characters or something like that. You can come in here and you can draw. You can change a bunch of different backgrounds. So, so say you want to just teach writing, for example, you can have something like this. You can use the stylus for skinny lines or the other end for fatter lines or your finger. And of course, if you don't like that app, you can download and install whatever apps you would like. I downloaded the app a Touch Test to test out the multi-point connection and you can connect with all 10 of your fingers. So if you need an app, like maybe a piano playing app or something like that, where you will push down with a lot of fingers, that works just fine on this. Another thing you might notice is I did install a webcam on here. The nice thing about this is it has USB ports, so you can plug in whatever webcam you want and you can use that for if you have a Zoom meeting or if you use Google Hangout or whatever you want to use for your video calls. With this new board, there's also a stand that you can use to install it. The stand has four locking wheels. It's really easy to move around. It's a really nice looking stand as well. It goes very well with the aesthetic of the new board. So if you're in a classroom, very easy to move around. If you're in an office and you want to move this from maybe conference room to another conference room, very easy to do that. On the side over here are a bunch of inputs and USB ports. So if you want to plug in multiple computers, you can do that. So the nice thing about plugging in a computer is you just open this up and you can place the computer screen wherever you want to on this. So you can have your main screen up here, but you can also view someone else's computer screen. You can easily switch the inputs as well. So maybe you have multiple people plugged into this and you need to take turns sharing the screen. You can do that that way. You can also broadcast your phone or your computer to this via Wi-Fi. So it does have this eShare app. If I open it it up on my phone it gives me an option for mirroring so I can just select my screen for the phone and now I can display my phone on here as well so if you just want to really quick and easy share your computer or your phone on the screen very easy to do with the software built into this one thing I recommend with this is because it has USB ports you can get a keyboard like this plug in the USB dongle and then you can use your keyboard for navigation I like this Logitech keyboard because not only can you type with it really easily, but it also has a touchpad so I can use it like a mouse if I don't want to use the stylus or my fingers. I think the most popular use cases for this are probably going to be in education or in an office. Because I've been in IT, I've set up many, many conference rooms and it's honestly one of my least favorite things to do because to get a good functional conference room where you have video calling and you have good sound, the way a lot of companies do it, is they'll get a TV and then you get a computer and you hook up the computer to the TV and then you get all this different stuff. And when all is said and done, it's a lot of different equipment, the cost builds up and it's a lot of man hours to keep it maintained. Things always go wrong. This is such a better setup for it. All you have to do is plug in a webcam and then you have a Zoom room or you have a conference room or you have a video calling room. If you end up not liking the webcam, you can just replace it. You just get another webcam plug it in 
you don't have to get a bunch of new video equipment like with a traditional setup that I've seen. If you want better speakers, then you can just connect to Bluetooth speakers or speakers that connect via USB. There's a lot of options because this is essentially a computer. You can just plug things into it. For education, this is really nice because in the classroom, you can show everything you need to show. It's a nice big screen. If you have apps that the students need to use or software or programs that students need to use, you can show them exactly how to do that on this. So you just open up whatever app the students need to use. You walk them through the whole process. If you need to watch a video in class, you just open up YouTube. You got everything there. It does come with a remote as well. So if you want to use the remote to do navigation, you can do that. Mostly you'll probably just use this for changing the volume or muting when you're playing a video or music or something like that, but it still comes in handy. What I personally like most about this is just that everything works. There's not really anything you have to set up. You do have to install the Wi-Fi card. That's the only installation you have to do other than setting it up on the cart. But after that, you turn it on, you sign in with your credentials, and it's just like any Android phone or tablet you've ever used. And then you're all set up. You can download anything you want from the Play Store. You can plug in mouse, keyboards, speakers, webcam. So there really are a lot of possibilities. If you need a simple way to present on a screen, here it is. It doesn't really get any easier than this. I've been really impressed with this new board. <laughs> Absolutely love using it. It's perfect for any school or office.